Um, Hamadi, you were the number one pick for Charlotte FC. Were you surprised at how everything rolled out? Were you expecting to come here? Are you thankful you're not going to St. Louis? <laughs> no, I don't. I, I don't even think St. Louis wanted me. The, uh, they never interviewed me. And like I had a, an interview with Charlotte at the combine, and they really wanted me. But they were like, uh, "We probably the twentieth pick." So I was like, "Ah, I probably won't be in there with Charlotte, which you know, it's a city that I really like, and it's really close to Clemson. So we should like feel home to me." So I was like super excited when they like got the first pick as soon as after they heard the trade that they traded for the first pick oh, I, I knew like it was it was my time i figured out like yeah i had an idea i was like yeah I'll probably go there i was so excited like super happy that they picked me so nice that's what we love to hear and i mean you mentioned that clemson is really close to here we've got yeah. players on the team like george marks a quinn mcneil previously have you spoken to them and maybe have they talked to you about the jump from college soccer to mls they have because like Queen and George like came to our came to our games a couple of times this year and like had a great relationship with like both of them. Obviously, George was my goalkeeper, so I was a center back. So we just have like a great relationship. And he talked to a lot about Charlotte, every like good things that have Charlotte have done for him, like how much they believe in him and his abilities and stuff like that. So and how good they take care of young players. You know, you can see it as with Queen and like with the First round pick last year, you know, it was, it's, it's just great. They only talk great about Charlotte. So I'm like really looking forward to being in there. So. Nice. I love that. And you talked about Charlotte developing uh, young players and you spoke a little bit about Charlotte really wanting to uh, bring you here. Was uh, Latanzo somebody that you spoke with, um, given he has a track record of improving players, young players, especially, is that something that you're looking forward to? Oh yes, hundred percent. I think the first thing that I, one is like improve me not just as a player but as a personal too like i'm just 20 i'm like still going to be growing i'm still going to be maturing like learning a lot from all the players and like people that are going to be around me so it like mean a lot to me that they actually wanted me because like we had a great interview you know they talked great you know everything that they say like I, I loved it so i was like i would really love to be charlotte and they were like bro we would love to have you i'm like i would love to like go somewhere when you are actually want it not just as a player but as a you know human being too because after all you know we are human beings even though we like athletes you know 100 percent. and then we have a, a center back already in milanda who speaks french is that something you're excited about like developing a partnership with someone else who speaks french Yes, yes. I've, I've just talked to them. Like, I got the call with Charlotte and they talked to me. Oh, you're going to be surrounded by French people. And I was like, you know, even better. Even though I speak English, yeah, it's a little bit, but it's, it's going to be great. I'm really looking forward to that connection. You know, he's a great, great defender. So we're looking forward to learning from him. Nice. And is there a uh, maybe like a Senegalese player that you like uh, were inspired by or like a player that really means a lot to you? Uh, I wouldn't say a Senegalese player. Obviously, I love Khalid Koulibaly, but, you know, we play in a different position. So, like, David Alaba is someone that I really look up to. He's, I think he's underrated. I think he's a really, really great player. So, it's someone that I really look up to. But Khalid Koulibaly is also great. Like, right? yeah. Nice. And then for this first year under in Charlotte, what would you say would be your professional goal? Uh, just to develop, obviously. Like, you know, keep on churning every day, give my 100%. I think that's what I expect from myself. You know, everything that is that I can't control, which is playing time, it depends on the coaches. So all I have to do is like fight every day, you know, give 100% in practice. And I'm really looking forward to improving because you are surrounded by good players. So that's really what I always wanted to be like, to be playing with some people that you have looked up to. So that's, that's just what I want to do, honestly. Nice. I love that. And then just a final quick fun question for you. Are you a team Messi or team Ronaldo? I'm team Ronaldo. Oh, okay. All right. We might have some problems here in the future. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, no, I know Messi is the best player ever, but I'm still team Ronaldo. So, yeah. Okay. Awesome. Hamadi, thank you so much. We look forward to having you here in the Queen City. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.